गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम जे वी एन एकता राना एंड वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर रनसा एंड मेटाफिजिकल स्कूल्स टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद जॉन्डन हिज पोइट्री इन हैबिट्स एंड एक्सिलेटिंगली अनप्रडिक्टेबल वर्ल्ड इन विच वेरीनेस एंड क्विक बीट्स आर एट अ प्रीमियम the most perilous the encounters of cladstein lovers the great jest they have for their pleasures whether they seek to outfit the disapproving world or a jealous husband or a forbidding and deeply suspicious father the perfume is allergy for the quoted lines are though he had wont to search with glazed eyes as though he came to kill a cock trice though he have oft sworn that he would remove thy beauty's beauty of and food of our love hope of his goods if i with thee were seen yet close and secret as our souls we have been exploiting and being exploited are taken as conditions of nature which we share on equal terms with the beasts of the jungle and the ocean in metempsychosis a whale and a holder of great office behave in precisely the same way his another quoted lines he hunts not fish but as an officer stays in his coat as his own net and there all suitors of all sorts themselves enthrall so on his back lies his whale wantoning and in his gulf like throat sucks everything that pass near here then characterizes our natural life in the world as a condition of flux and momentariness which we may nonetheless turn to our advantage the tension of the poetry comes from the pull of divergent impulses in the argument itself in a valediction of my name in the window the lover's name scratched in his mistress's window or to serve as a talisman to keep her chest but then as he explains to her it may instead be an unwilling witness to her infidelity then quarter lines when thy inconsiderate hand flings up his casement with my trembling name to look on one whose wit or land new battery to thy heart may frame then think this name alive and that to thus in its offendest my genius dunn's love poetry expresses a variety of enormous experiences that are often startlingly unlike each other or often startlingly unlike contradictory in their implications in his the anniversary one of his work the anniversary he is not just being inconsistent when he moves from a justification of frequent changes of partners to celebrate a mutual attachment that is simply not subject to time alteration appetite or the sheer pull of other worldly entertainments some of dunn's finest love poems such as a valediction for wedding morning describe the condition of mutual attachment that time and distance cannot diminish for example in quoted lines dull sublunary lovers love cannot admit absence because it doth remove those things which alimented it but we by a love so much refined that our selves know not what is inner assured of the mind care less eyes lips and hands to miss then find some striking images to define the this state in which two people remain wholly one while they are separated their souls are not divided but expanded by the distance between them like gold to airy thinness beat is most important got a line or they move in response to each other as the legs of twin compasses compass the legs of two compass of one compass whose fixed foot gives the moving foot steadfast in its path like 
such wilt thou be to me who must like the other foot obliquely run thy firmness makes my circle just and makes me end where i begin a supple argument unfolds with lyric grace so let's wind up here and in the next lecture we will again continue with john den thank you